learning community activity is called Find a Friend and Bingo, and I think it is best for grades about third through six. Um, so what you're going to have the kids do is you're going to um, have a bingo card template. Um, they have these everywhere online. They have different ones for different age groups. I just did one that was more primarily for like older grades, but if you're wanting to do it for younger grades, they have bingo cards for it. Um, so each slot has something um, about somebody in it. Um, like, for example, they have, like, uh, find somebody who has pierced ears and find somebody who likes to sing. And so students are going to go around and try to find somebody that matches that. And then the person will write their name if they have pierced ears in that bingo slot and they're going to try to get a bingo. Um, but you want to make sure you explain the rules to your students. Um, your only one person can write their name for one space. So you can't find one person who fills out like 10 spaces it has to be only one per space so that way you are um talking to everybody in the classroom trying to find somebody who that fits all those categories and then also make sure to encourage students to be truthful when filling out their squares make sure they know that this isn't a competitive thing this is a getting to know you activity so some students might be eager to just try to get their board filled out first but make sure you just tell your students hey this is not a win or lose kind of game. This is a getting to know you activity. We're getting to know the people around you. So encourage them to talk to everybody and get to know everyone and try to get as many names as they can filled out.